Welcome back to another video. Today, I will be doing a side-by-side -side comparison between a cheap hockey goalie mask and an expensive hockey goalie mask. I will be comparing these two helmets in four different categories. Quality of materials, protection, comfort, and style. To start off, we're going to talk about the quality of the materials. Starting off with the Enemy 3. The quality of the materials for this is not too good. The shell of the mask feels like plastic, okay? It go, you could easily crush it. The foams inside are made out of dual density foams and inside the foams are beige, which gets dirty very easily. You also have these metal pieces that hold the chin strap on and these are all rusted. Right now, I'm breaking it with my fingers as I'm going over it. That's how corroded it is. The quality of the cage is very good. I don't see any problems with the cage. The sweat band is a little thin and small, and it doesn't do its primary job of catching all the sweat. It catches most of the sweat, but not all. The chin cap is made out of styrofoam-like material, and I could band it, I could probably shove my finger through it if I really tried. Onto the Enemy 9. The shell of this mask feels very stable and durable. I can't really squeeze it with my hand. The foam in here is uh, very good quality, very similar to the VTX technology that's used in the Bauer VTX mask, which is a thousand dollar mask. The sweatband in this mask is very thick, wide and padded, and it catches all the sweat. I've never had any problems with sweat going in my eyes with this sweatband. The chin cap on the Enemy 9 has a hard styrofoam-like material on the outside and on the inside it has this very comfortable foam where you place your chin. The cage on the Enemy 9 is also very durable. One thing I have to say about the cages, is the metal on this cage is thinner which makes it easier to see than this cage because this cage, the metal bars are very thick, these ones are thin which makes it easier to see. So next up, we're gonna talk about protection. For the NME3, it has, like I said before, a dual density foam. And like I said before, the shell's not too good either. When you get a shot on a mask, it feels like a really hard slap on the face. I would use this mask either for ball hockey or if you're very young and playing hockey. Because when you're very young, the shots aren't hard and you'll, you won't feel it. But when you get older, the shots really hurt on this mask. Now onto the Enemy 9. When you get hit in this mask, it just feels like someone's tapping you. You know you got hit, but it doesn't hurt. It doesn't, you don't feel pain or anything. It just feels like someone's tapping you, which is good because you have to know the puck's hitting you and you have to know where, but it shouldn't be hurting you. And this is what that mask does. Now, the reason why this is, is because inside they have a very high quality foam it kind of disperses the energy from a shot around the mask. So if you get hit here, most of the energy is going to be here, but it's going to disperse the energy a little bit more around the mask. So on to the next category, which is comfort. For the Enemy 3, it's not a very comfortable mask. The foam inside doesn't really give that much, so when you're putting your face on it and you're going side to side, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't hurt, it's not painful, but it's just not comfortable. With the sweatband, like I said before, the sweatband is very thin and not really padded. The chin strap is styrofoam, but that doesn't really cause any comfort issues because it's not hard. For the Enemy 9, in here, even though it protects you very well, it's very soft inside. Like the padding is very soft. And the sweatband also very padded, very thick, very comfortable. Chin strap also has the foam on the chin, which is also makes it very comfortable. So this is a very comfortable mask to wear. Now onto the style. This mask has, other than the cage, 
it's pretty much the same on the outside. The lines on the mask and the shape are pretty much exactly the same. The reason it, it doesn't look exactly the same is because this one has a design and it doesn't really showcase the lines as much. Now, if we take a look on the inside, the type of foam they used gets dirty very easily and it just looks terrible on the inside. The rusted, the rusted metal pieces don't help either. But on the other hand, for the Enemy 9, on the inside, this mask looks beautiful. It has a nice green and black foam with a nice thick sweatband and a nice chin cap. Now, since that's it for the extra categories, I'm gonna give you guys some of my thoughts. For the Enemy 3, you're getting what you pay for. Masks aren't cheap. They're not meant to be cheap. And if you're going and spend $100 on a mask, you, you couldn't, you can't expect to get a lot out of it. Don't cheap out on your mask. The mask is the, the most important piece of gear in your bag. You might think you don't care if you get hit in the head and it, and it hurts. You don't care because you want the nicer pads and you want the nicer other gear and you'd rather spend the money on that. But if you keep on getting hit in the face and it feels like a really hard slap in the face, you might be scared of the puck in this mask. In a mask of this caliber, you won't be scared. You'll be willing to headbutt the puck because you don't care even if it's a slap shot. You know, when you guys are looking for a mask, there's not just $100 mask, $500 mask, and then a $1,000 mask. There's a hundred, then there's going to be like 250 400 and then 500 and then so on and so on. So you don't have to get a $500 mask, but don't get a cheap quality mask because those are the masks that are not going to last you and you're gonna end up spending more because you're gonna want a better mask. I'm gonna end the video here, and before I do, I just wanna say, if you guys haven't subscribed and you watch my videos and you enjoy the content, please subscribe, it helps me out a lot. Like 90% of you that are watching this video are not subscribed to my channel, and I don't know why. So please subscribe, and uh, if you enjoy the content, like also. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Rage on that beat, gon' crave